guys welcome back here we have a new build for you guys today it is a dream car of mine it's a 2012 ford mustang gt california special starting up front we have a front end damage here and it is does have frame rail damage let's show you guys what's under the hood it is a full bolt-on car with a boss 302 intake manifold with a colder intake a 87 millimeter throttle body when we originally bought the car we were expecting a whole nitrous kit on here with drag tires because on the pictures that's what it had so i have have contacted the original owner and we are getting that situated we're looking good though we're looking that we'll get the nitrous kit at least back all right so starting off with the performance mods we have full bolt on so that means we have a colder intake throttle body intake manifold headers and exhaust so it has lt headers long tubes no cats and it is straight pipe with, with I think a Flowmaster Outlaw cap back or axle back. I'm not sure there yet because we haven't lifted the car so we have no clue what's underneath going on. It does have a McLeod clutch, 800 horsepower organic clutch, or I think the organic RSD, I'm not sure. Something like that. And it does have a throwout bearing, pilot bearing, and braided clutch line. With the shifter, it has a short throw shifter. I'm not sure what brand yet. We'll have to check that out. And then some of the appearance mods here, as we saw, we had the headlights, but they are broken and the hood. We have new parts coming in. We already have most of the parts. Just a few little things are coming in still. Sadly, we're not going with the carbon fiber hood. It's gonna be the stock hood. We already got that. And that's pretty much it. So now let's get to work tearing this thing apart. All right, so we threw her on the lift and let's check what's under, going on right here. So it is fully straight piped, the headers right there. Going straight back, no cats. Two resonators down on each side. A little bit scraped up, but some primer. No okay. buff out. Uh, we noticed there was a bolt missing right over there from the brake caliper. Yeah, that's sketch. We definitely need to install that. Uh, it does have a steel oil pan, which is different. I've never seen one. I've only done V6s, so they're all aluminum. It is kind of dented, but I think it's okay. We'll see how the oil drains. When we do yeah, we got a little bit of suspension damage. Nothing too crazy. It's just two sway bar end links on the ends, and that's that's normal. That's okay. Yeah, about what I expect. So inspection looks pretty good overall. No leaks. Nothing wet, drippy. Uh, normal wear. Yeah. Nothing too crazy going on here, yeah, so we're all good. You'd expect on a Mustang. This I definitely want to throw on some primer on all these scrapes. Mm -hmm. but yeah, that's once you get it back. All right, I guess let's drop it down and then start tearing apart what's damaged. And yeah, so we need to overall for this build here, we need to strip off the whole front clip. All the suspension needs to take, come out, and we're dropping the engine and transmission. So the exhaust has to come off right here. These clamps, which are loose because why not you love having an exhaust leak right there mm -hmm. so yeah i don't overall. think you won't you won't be able to even tell because it's a lot of at that point yeah yep 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 let's see how far we get maybe i feel like we could drop it today dude.
guys, so a little bit of a work update. We have the uh, uh, front condenser and radiator and fan out. It gives us more access to the engine so we can try maybe removing it. Uh, no guarantees we're gonna do it today, but we'll try our best. Um, there's a lot of damage, so we weren't able to get some of the bolts out and we had to use some other methods to try and uh, remove all the entire front assembly, but we, we got we got her done. Here's some damaged parts over here. Pretty much all this is junk. There you go. Yeah, see, this thing was just spinning here because it broke. It's so annoying. I was putting that bolt too. Whatever, let's not waste your time on that. Remove. Oh, there we go. Now it broke off. Well, you don't want it to punch this off. So we got the lower radiator support piece off. Uh, still have that off one. The subframe. The crash bar yeah. and the sub. Yeah. Well, next, for now, next we're gonna work on the subframe. The subframe, which is these few bolts here, and then um, we're gonna put on a pallet here. Mm -hmm. Hold it up. Um, there we are. We're just gonna put a pallet on the floor. We're gonna lower it. Then we're gonna take off the subframe. Then we're gonna take off the transmission mount bracket, and then we're gonna raise it some and disconnect what we need to for electrical wise and hoses. We got some of it disconnected. Fuel disconnected. Some extra. Wire, I don't, I don't think know. that's all of them, but we got there, some. and then most electrical should be in these plugs here. We, we went oh, ahead and took one. off the uh, tires, the calipers, uh, just disconnected coilovers. Yeah, disconnected coilover, which we need to pick this back of this pad. Yeah, same thing for the other side. So when we drop the subframe, hopefully everything should come down with it and not drag. Just the these two bolts, and then those two down there. All right, so we have the entire subframe engine and transmission sitting on this pallet we pretty much have unscrewed all the bolts so now we're just gonna lift up the car straight up and hopefully uh, the engine, stays down. engine and trans stay down and in the meantime we'll be checking in the engine bay to see if there's anything else we need to unhook which there will be like this AC line needs to be I know that for sure now <laughs> So far, the engine is down. So we removed the clutch line here. So now we should be able to go now. Let's give it another shot. Bing bong. So far, so good. Okay, let's figure out that drive shaft. Now that we should have more room. Okay, guys, that should be everything unplugged. <laughs> After. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Check Hold on. Hold on. Stop. This is kitchen. Exhaust. Or drive shaft. Drive shaft yeah. If we can somehow move that out the way, the drive shaft and the exhaust and like. Oh, the drive shaft. Oh, it just came loose. So we're good. It we did? Should, yeah. It, it just, that's, that's what happened. That's what popped off. All right, guys. So here we have the whole engine and transmission taken out in a record time of three hours for us. We've not done a 5 0 yet. So there we go. And yeah, we have the rest of the car here. Um, 10K, engine trans, if y'all want it. 80K miles, 10K, full bolt on. You got headers, you got nitrous, everything. <laughs> Not everything. Dang, dude, that look, look how much more room now we have to work on the frame. Now that that's all out. Yeah. And then. But guys, that's going to be pretty much a wrap for today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, then please be sure to leave a like. Consider subscribing if you haven't already, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care, and oh, goodbye. Watch out, you don't know where they... <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. I know.